Great products, low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa Demar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. It's time now for the ladies in local sports and sports at Brace Loss for the first time since the All-Star break as they dropped last night's game in Milwaukee by a score of 13-1. Two teams back in action this afternoon. That game on AM 1370 Fox Sports today. Game time 2-10. Braves home Thursday through Sunday to host the Washington Nationals before getting an off day on Monday. And all the games right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Local Appling County star and now a member of the Minnesota Twins baseball team, Byron Buxton, put on a seven-day injury list dealing with concussion-type symptoms after he crashed into a wall in Cleveland. Twins in first place in the American League Central, five games ahead of the Indians. Buxton having a nice season with the Twins. Again, over the ball Tuesday. Doctors say it's something that will resolve itself in a few days, but he needs time to heal. Buxton has scored 43 runs, has 61 hits. Getting right around 250 this season for Minnesota. Then put on the seven day injury list after dotting the ball on Tuesday against the Indians. Kirby Smart in his fourth year as head coach, football coach at the University of Georgia addressed the SEC Media Day in Hoover, Alabama on Tuesday. He says the team's motto this year is to simply do more. He says everyone has to do more if they are to the SEC Championship game, something they've yet to do. Kirby says the receiving core will be the big question coming into the season. He says they've recruited well. Freshman George Pickens and Dominic Blaylock, two of the highest ranked wide receiver prospects Georgia has signed in a decade. Dogs lost his top four receivers from last year's team. Other topic on Tuesday the two new coordinators, the two offensive defense coordinators, have been replaced from last year. Smart promoted from within. He says he still has a lot of say on the defense side of the football. He says the dogs are ready for the season, which begins on the road in the SEC against Vanderbilt. Smart also asked about the future of the Georgia Florida game in Jacksonville. His answer was he'll simply do what's best in the interest of the Georgia football program. Says that decision will be made when the current contract is up in a few years. SEC Media Day continues. Alabama's Nick Saban highlights today's events in Hoover, Alabama. Wayne County's scrimmage on Hilton Head Island with with Hilton Head High School now just 30 days from today, set for Friday, August 16th. Check a football team over at Pierce County today and Thursday for a two-day padded camp. Some good competition as the Jackets prepare daily for the upcoming season. Midnight Madden is set for the end of this month, Wednesday, July 31st at midnight. The team will hold a practice as full pads able to be worn on August 1st in the state of Georgia. In high school football, just 30 days from today. First home Lady Yellow Jackets softball game is set for Monday, August 5th. They host the Brunswick Pirates. The team opens up on the road in Glenn County, taking on both Glenn Academy and Brunswick Pirates on August 2nd and 3rd. Cross-country team's first race is Saturday, August 17th at the Perry Mid-State Classic. That race gets underway Saturday morning at 8 a.m. First home cross-country meet not till Thursday, September 5th at 4.30 p.m. Volleyball team set to open up at home August 8th. They'll host Vidalia, and all the fall sport teams will be recognized at the first community pep rally of the year, set for Friday, August 9th at J.C. Stadium, encouraging people to start tailgating between 4 and 6.15. Then from 6.15 to 6.30, the jacket walk featuring the high school band, all high school, middle school, fall sport athletes will be involved in the jacket walk. After that, everyone is studying for the pep rally. Again, more details about the pep rally to come. But make plans to attend the first community-wide pep rally, the date Friday, August 9th at J.C. Stadium. And that's going to do it for latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every, every day of this time by your friends at Harris Ace Hardware. Our customers comes first at First Franklin Financial. It's not just a slogan, it's the way we do business. Since 1941, we've been helping our friends and neighbors in the Southeast with their financial needs. We offer personal loans, bill consolidation loans, and more. So stop by our office today. We're conveniently located at 1074 North Macon Street. Or give us a call at 912-427-4237. You can also start your application online at www.1ffc.com. All loan terms and applicable APR depends on meeting our